Hi there, my name is Kendrick and welcome to Travel and Live Free. In this video, I'm going to do a review of the Scotiabank American Express card and that video is going to come up right now. After all these years of collecting points and miles, I have never once gotten the American Express Scotiabank credit card and finally I pulled the trigger and I got this card in the mail just a few days ago and actually it's a pretty solid card. One of the biggest reasons I never bothered to get this card was because of the annual fee and I felt like the points that you got from this card did not offset the annual fee or it only offset it it by a little bit which made getting this card not worthwhile however there is a promotion until the end of april so april 30th 2021 where if you apply through great canadian rebates they do give you 120 dollars cash back which effectively cancels out that annual fee of 120 dollars that you have to pay when you sign up for this card now if you have some bad luck and you don't get to watch this video before April 30th, 2021, and you decide to apply later on, it's still a good card because they do give you an extra amount of points when you sign up for this card. So after spending $1,000 within the first 90 days of getting this card, they're gonna give you 30,000 Scotia reward points. If you spend $7,500 within your first year of having this card, they're gonna give you an additional 10,000 Scotia reward points. So in total, you could earn 40,000 Scotia reward points that you can use towards travel. Now, normally they only give you 30,000 points for this card, so that extra 10,000 points really makes a big difference. And by chance you miss that promotional period, then you can still get that extra 10,000 points that you would otherwise miss outside of promotional period. So I do have the link for the Scotiabank American Express credit card down in the description below. Check that out. I have both the links for the Great Canadian rebates as well as a referral link to the Scotiabank American Express card outside of the Great Canadian rebates promotion. Just one last thing is that after you do hit that minimum spend requirements, according to Scotiabank, they're gonna credit you the points within two to three business days. Now, some of the biggest perks outside of the welcome bonus points that you get with this card is you get five times the points bonus for every dollar that you spend on groceries, fast food, restaurants, and delivery services. You also get five times the Scotia Bank reward points for every dollar spent on entertainment, such as movies, theaters, and going to ticketing agencies for entertainment. You also get three times the Scotia rewards points for every dollar spent on rideshare, transit, and gasoline. And don't forget that three times the Scotia reward points when you sign up for a streaming service, such as Netflix, Amazon Prime, movies, and Disney Plus. And for all other purchases, you get one social reward points for every dollar spent. On top of those perks, it also comes with quite a few insurance benefits. So this credit card does come with travel medical insurance, trip cancellation and trip interruption insurance, delayed and lost baggage insurance, rental car collision or damage insurance, flight delay insurance, travel accident insurance, hotel and motel burglary insurance, purchase security and extended warranty insurance. And finally, if you are one of the unlucky people such as myself who were shut down by American Express back in 2020, then you are eligible to get this card still because this card, even though it's American Express, it is with Scotiabank. Now, to give you my own personal opinion of this card, I do think it's a very solid card for those who cannot get the American Express Cobalt card because of all the shutdowns that's happening. So if you're unable to get the American Express Cobalt card and take advantage of their five times the points bonus from groceries and dining, then this is the next best card to get to get that same perk. I know BMO is trying to compete with them as well and offer a perk similar to this, but I do think that this is the second most superior option after the American Express Cobalt card. Anyways, that's about it for this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave your comments below. And don't forget to sign up to our Travel and Live Free newsletter where you can get a 10 step cheat sheet on how to travel around the world. You'll also get the latest tips and strategies on how to save money on travel for Canadians, how to go on a around the world adventure travel for Canadians, and how to use travel to get more freedom in your life as a Canadian. You can sign up for that newsletter in the description below. Until next time, I'll see you then.